So a lot of my inspiration comes from nature itself. I love working with plants, and one of the fun pieces that I made a while back is called Pampas. So I had this commission to do my interpretation of a Pampas plant. So jump on the internet real quick, get out there and find, oh my god, these things are a rainbow plant. They come in all kinds of different colors. But I love the pink, I love the kind of a cream color, and then you know, I thought, wow, you know, we could do like green stems. You know, and that'll help tie it all together to go in this garden where it was going to go back to New York State. But of course, like any plant, well, the darn thing has to be able to move. You know, it's got to be able to sway in the wind and blow in the wind. So, oh boy, research and development time. So I started playing with different size stems, you know, whether they were aluminum, whether they were steel, you know, whether the, the plant itself, how was I going to shape that? How was I going to, you know, make that look right? You know, make it all blend together. So I tried several different sizes and shapes and textures and had a lot of fun with it. Making up, you know, just individual stalks, stems, you know, with a few little leaves on it and just taking them out and just sticking them in the ground and watching them as the wind blows. Which one moves the best? Which one has a nice sway to it? Don't want it too heavy. Don't want it too light. You know, so I don't want it so heavy that it won't move. But I don't want it so light that back there, where it's going, you know, they get 40, 50, 60 mile an hour winds sometime, and I don't want the darn thing to just get destroyed in a windstorm. Or because it's up in snow country, I don't want it to get covered in snow and then just bend from the weight. So I finally had my shape, had my, my look, you know, I had the right, right thicknesses of everything, I knew how big I wanted the whole plant to be, how tall I wanted it to be, and yeah, it's about six foot, or maybe a little over six foot even. But this was before I had my CNC table. So make up my file, send it off to the water jet company where they can cut it out on a water jet table to their own weight and listen to the, you know, the, the, the music from Jeopardy, you know, in my head, just waiting for them to call and say, come get it, now I can get to work. And of course I had to think about, well, once I get this created, you know, once I, I do all the fabrication, I get all my powder coating done, I put it all together, it's absolutely awesome, I love it. Now I gotta take it apart and ship it. So how can I do that? How can I figure all of that into the design as well? So it's easy enough to put together, it's easy enough to take apart and pack, but once it gets to the garden and they haul it, you know, half an acre away, whatever it is, to get it down into the garden where it belongs, is it easy enough for them, you know, with written instructions or with a video or something, to be able to put this thing all together without having any trouble. And here it is, on location. So that's just a quick little look into my, how my brain works. You know, to go from talking on the phone with the patron and, you know, looking at photographs on the, online of the location he wants to work with, the concept, you know, he wants this plant. He can't grow it there. That's one of the problems is he's up in the northern latitudes and this is more of a southern latitude kind of plant. And it just won't work. So that's where I step in. Be able to come up with a design, come up with a, you know, the concept, be able to fabricate it all, to get you know, all the finish work done to it and then be able to pack it all up and ship it across the country where it can then be assembled without any problems. That's always the fun part of my job. I do appreciate y'all watching. It'd be a really lonely channel if you guys weren't there. And if you get the chance, why don't you pop out to my website, see what's going on out there, and I'll see y'all next time. So you want a teaser? Nah, 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 nah.